Hey, hey, everybody. It is Miss Ava Cherie, Miss Motivational Mogul Mindset. I'm just coming to you briefly to give you a food for your soul quote, and you may have already seen it. So the quote stated that before you assume someone is doing too much, why don't you decide to just help out? Um, and I'm paraphrasing it. Instead, just help out and lead by example by sowing seeds into other people and let the rest fall in line. Sometimes we get so preoccupied and pre and, and and preconceived notions of what we think someone is doing or not doing or, oh, they look busy or they're doing too much or, um, you know, just not taking a special interest in the people that we so-called call special in our lives. And a lot of times we waste time assuming. And instead, if we really wanted to help out, if we really want to make a difference, if we really want to ensure their success and make sure that they're just not doing too much of idle this, idle that, or um, busy this, busy that. If you want to make them productive and help yourself be more productive, don't you think it'd be more productive to offer a helping hand? Leading by your so servitude, leading by sowing seeds into others. Because we know what does not produce a harvest. Why don't you just take it upon yourself and allow your heart and your spirit to be cleansed with a good deed. And that's sowing a seed into someone's movement and get to know what it is that you need to know to feel confident and to believe in them and to give them hope. Sometimes people busy themselves and it's so hard. We a lot of times talk about entrepreneurs, especially I do. And for me, I try to make it my business that when I do talk to people that's in a different arena or genre of things that they're doing, when I touch base with them, I try to inform myself before I talk to them so I can have something in common. A commonality bond is great because it shows someone without you having to tell them, hey, I love you. It means a lot to me what you're doing. It means a lot to me to support you. And it means a lot for me to take time out to research so that if I can give input, because I know this is in your heart. I know this is your drive, your passion. I know that you're not just going to want to talk about jaw jack and talk about nothing or just talk about this or just talk about me you're going to want to feel the love and the passion behind that kinship of someone coming to you knowing your profession knowing your career goals knowing your academic goals knowing your personal goals if it's something like with weight if it's something like um going through an illness, you want to familiarize yourself with people's ambitions to show that you really are involved, you really do care, and that they really do mean that much to you. You want to make sure that the time spent is well spent. And it's it's memorable. And, it, and they can sit back and be like, you know what? I know this person took time out the busy schedule before they got to me to find out what it is that I'm doing, to find out what it is that I love, and to, to have something to input into that, to pour back into me. And wow, that felt good. And then you're going to, in turn, have that person to reevaluate how they deal with people. Just because they, they're not around them anymore doesn't mean that you have to disassociate yourself from what it is that they're doing and what it is that they love. You can just take time out and be like, hey, instead of jaw jacking and assuming that they're doing too much, take those few minutes, scale back from negativity and produce a seed of positiveness, produce a seed of information and knowledge and becoming aware of what it is that they're doing. And then maybe just maybe you'll figure out just how difficult it is to accomplish some of these goals that that person is doing, just how difficult it is to get that trademark or that copyright or the business license or the business um, patent or different things, the services, the website, the engineering, you just, it's a whole host of things to do other than to assume that somebody's just doing too much. All right. So, so a good seed, be a leader, be a servant leader in that area of servitude and make sure you just put down your assumptions, put down your opinions and take up energy to sow positive seeds into the person that you love by becoming aware becoming aware of what it is they're doing, knowing where their headspace is at, knowing when they look tired and weary, giving them a comforting word, but it's informed word. It's informed pertaining to what it is that their purpose and passion is. Not some old, I just, I'm thinking off the top of my head, this sounds good type of information. No, because when you say something off the top of your head, it's not relatable to that person or that person's ambitions or situation. It's irrelevant. And basically, it's all on yourself when you realize that person sitting there like, hmm. They really don't know what I'm doing. They have no clue. Or when somebody suggests that you should do something that you've done five, six, seven years ago or that you're actively doing, for instance, oh, maybe you should get a degree in that. Oh, but I already have one in that. Didn't you know? Or maybe you should do this. You should buy, you should get some such and such. Oh, I just promoted that. Didn't you know? Or maybe you should. It shows that um, just how inattentive you really have been to the person that you so-called love and you're in kinship with and friendship with.
Let's take it upon yourself this week to familiarize yourself with things of importance of others that you that you claim to be close to, that you claim to love. And just not even that, just you claim to show an interest in this, what it is that they're doing. Know something about other than what their name is and what their last timeline post and thread was or what their last weave or wig or haircut was or what color they had on or what outfit they did or did not look right in. Why don't you find time to just peruse the matters of their heart and make yourself known that you are there for the long call and that you are a sower of good seeds and not of controversy and not of naysaying. Until next time, God's love and peace to you all. Ava Cherie. Have a great start of the week. After you subscribe to this channel and you watch this video and you share it, go on over to my other playlist, which is the Motivational Mogul Mindset Literary Realist Class. I'm going to go over there and talk about the A-Team. Um, Y'all know I go by A. Um, we're on patience is a virtue principles. It's nine principles I'm going to post per day with the actions of what it is that you need to take in consideration as to the virtues, as to the fruits of the spirit, as to why it is it's important to line up with these things and understand where you're at. So go on over to my Facebook page, Ava Cherie with the asterisk, or go on over to the Motivational Mogul Mindsets literary realist class and you can find some more detailed vlogs about um patience is a virtue principles things that i elaborate a little bit longer than the food for your soul quotes okay i appreciate you already in advance i love you god's love to you god's peace to you and until next time be easy